Our addiction to economic growth is killing us. Right now, the entire global system is captive to a single idea, economic growth. Politicians rise and fall on their ability to increase GDP year on year. They promise that growth will make our lives better. But there's a catch. We can't have infinite growth on a finite planet. We're already overshooting our planet's biocapacity by nearly 60%. The consequences are all around us. Climate change, deforestation, and rapid rates of extinction. This crisis is due almost entirely to overconsumption in rich countries. They use more than three times their fair share of biocapacity. Scientists warn that the only way to prevent ecological collapse is for rich countries to scale down their consumption. This is called planned degrowth. Degrowth is not the same as austerity. The goal is to increase human well-being and happiness while reducing our economic footprint. Instead of intensifying our plunder of the earth, we can share what we already have more fairly. We can cut excess consumption by curbing advertising and taxing carbon. Introducing a basic income and a shorter working week would allow us to get rid of unnecessary jobs and redistribute labor. But the first step is to overthrow the tyranny of GDP. GDP is a crude measure of progress. When we slice down our forests for timber or strip our mountains for coal, GDP goes up. When natural disasters strike or hospital visits rise, GDP goes up. It ignores environmental and social costs. It's time for a more sensible metric, like the Genuine Progress Indicator, which takes GDP and subtracts these negative outcomes. It accounts for the costs of growth. We need an economic model that promotes human flourishing in harmony with the planet on which we depend.